My name is Tyler Lay, and as part of my concrete durability class, I challenged my students to experiment about something that they were interested in. This group chose to look at how concrete performed in a fire, how it spalled, and how plastic fibers impacted that. Hi, my name is John Choate, and today I'm going to talk to you about spalling in concrete. So what is spalling? Spalling is when the surface of concrete is heated, it forms steam, and then the surface explodes in half. So you may think of concrete as a dry, dense solid, but there's actual water inside of concrete. So let's check out this animation. The fire will heat the surface of the concrete, and the water will begin to expand and migrate away from the heat source. As that water moves, it gets trapped by the tight microstructure of the concrete. And whenever the pressure of the water builds, the tensile stress exceeds the tensile capacity, the surface will explode off. This phenomenon is called moisture clogged spalling. Now, this all happens really fast. That's why there's an explosion. This will continue until all the water in that region has either been expelled through spalling and steam, or the water has had a chance to actually migrate away from the heat source. So let's take a look at a video of this spalling in action. So how to prevent spalling? Well, it turns out that if you put plastic fibers in the mix, these plastic fibers will melt in a fire and allow a chance for the water to expand and move away from the heat. Now, in a mix, we use 2% by weight of plastic fibers in our mix, and there is no spalling at all. <laughs> and this is why we use concrete, not wood. <laughs> 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 so spalling is a dangerous phenomenon in concrete that can hurt people who are in a fire, it can cause death, and if not for strength, maybe plastic fibers should be considered for life safety of people in concrete structures. But spalling is not the only thing that happens in a fire. So for more information, about what happens to concrete in a fire, such as debonding the reinforcing, and what happens to the strength of concrete whenever after it's quenched in a fire, please check out these videos by my lab mates. And for comprehensive topics on concrete durability, please check out Dr. Tyler Lay's videos at his YouTube channel, Tyler Lay. Thank you for watching.